Two years ago, on January 20th, 2021, I joined the Minecraft Anarchy server, oldfrog.org, for the first time. Since then, I've spent nearly 2,000 hours on the server, and I've done just about everything there is to do here, from hosting events at spawn to griefing bases. Along the way, I made a lot of friends and a few enemies, but that is to be expected on Anarchy servers, where things are more complicated than good guys and bad guys. In this video, I'd like to take a journey back in time, back to my earliest days on the server, back when nobody knew who I was, back before I even had an elytra. I'm going to be visiting the ruins of my oldest bases on oldfrog.org, and recount my experiences I had there, and how they affect me even today. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, and let's get started. The first base I ever built on the server was a month or two after I joined. It was only a simple mob grinder with an enchanting table, some crop farms, and a bed, but it holds a significance to me because it was my start on oldfrog.org. I crafted my first god sets, tools, and golden apples there. However, although it was one of my first bases, it was also one of the shortest lived. I often traveled away from my base to visit other ruins nearby and my base served only as a checkpoint to quickly re-gear. Soon enough, I realized the base was too small and too close to spawn to serve as a full-time base if I was going to keep playing the server, so I decided to create a new base, this time over 100,000 blocks away from spawn, which I thought was pretty far away at the time. I invited two friends from another anarchy server I played at the time, and they both came to base with me. The new base, just like my old one, had a mob grinder and crop farms, but this time there was a village nearby, and we acquired some villagers to trade with. One of my base mates also built some pyramids to make the base look nice. This base was looking pretty good until, only four days after its beginning, it was griefed. We were pretty disappointed when our base only lasted four days, especially since this was my first ever experience being griefed on oldfrog.org. Oddly enough though, the griefer was not toxic at all, and even wanted to take a screenshot with me. This confused me since he had just lava casted my entire base, but hey, that's anarchy for you. After the grief, I went back to spawn and traded for an elytra, and then went to the end to farm shulker boxes. The shulker boxes would come in handy for carrying a lot more valuables and materials to my new base location, Prismatic. I founded Prismatic with another friend from a different server, and we invited two more players, Skill Issue and Bullbax, who still play from time to time. We chose a location in the savanna biome and began flattening an area to build on. We built a double spider grinder and we used the string from it to trade with villagers for emeralds, which we could then use to trade for enchanted books such as mending. We built farms for crops and animals and an AFK fishing station. For aesthetically pleasing builds, we built a tower, a house, and a map art gallery. Of course, I was a new player and only had a couple of map arts at the time, so the gallery was nothing compared to the one at my current base. After only one month, however, I logged on to find that the base had been griefed, marking the end of Prismatic. Since then, I've visited and lived at countless other bases much larger and much more famous than my first bases, but these will always be significant to me because of how they gave me my start on oldfrog.org. So thanks to everyone I met along the way, and here's to another two years of Oldfrog. Frog. 